Okay, it's grey skies today and it's tipping down with rain. I mean, it really is grey skies. So let's see what the solar's doing. Five amps, which is equal to 250 watts, quarter of a kilowatt in the pouring rain. That's pretty impressive. Mind you, it's the end of February, so the sun's a bit higher. Voltage, about 52 volts. Those who are uninitiated to that voltmeter, it's got a 30 volt zener on the back. So um, 20 equals 50. If that makes any sense, if not, have a look at the video. There's one on uh, that subject. Right, let's come back. Let's come away. We've taken that cover off. We've got one cover on there. And whilst we're here, I've put a solar isolator on there. Lovely ancient switch. Let's just see if I can zoom in a bit more. With thumb screws on there. It's lovely this sort of stuff. And it's cast iron. Or something similar to that. It's not cast aluminium. Switch her off. And you've got this arrangement. And so what I've done is solar in there, out there, and then I've also bridged it across to another set of contacts. So I've doubled the contacts up. Lovely, isn't it? No fuses in there. Anyway, that's the solar isolator in place. I save these switches. They're pretty heavy duty. You know, not like this modern Mickey Mouse stuff which is just big enough. Look, nicely in there, cast in there, on, off. And it says Royal there. Still, moving on. Let's zoom out. So, we had a brief discussion about that uh, fuse board there, the milk float one. Um, we're going to move that. And this wire here, that orangey red one that goes up, just goes to the light. So I think we can feed that directly from the fuse box next to the solar which is there, bring a wire straight along here and then continue along and go up the corner, go up the corner there. So that will stop that cable going up there. But this box here, that's got the, uh, the tracking timers in it and I'm just about to organize the wires that come out so that yellowy sort of colored wire that just passes by the light bulb that is the power to the gate that's right it goes across the field to the gate the black one big fat black one which is armored cable and it's a multi-core that used to run two or three trackers, but now there's only one uh, running through that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove that black wire and connect it to the end of this yellow. So if you imagine the, uh, the brown and the blue is the power to the tracking gate. So the blue is the common. So I can attach the other wire in that three core cable, which is probably green and yellow. And I can use that as a live. It's only 12 volts. And so therefore that will be a live against the common neutral. So we can get rid of that big ungainly black cable there, which is difficult to put in trunking or next to impossible because it's so stiff because it's armored. So on with that little project. Okay let's clarify a few points. 
because having reviewed some of the video it's a bit like an early Marx Brothers um, film so let's just sort a few things out we're talking here about the yellow wire and the black wire and the thick black um, armoured cable what you've got and this comes from the slave battery got positive and negative and it's 12 volt okay that goes to the timers but it also goes to the forward and reversing relay so let's just draw this there it is it's a relay with a coil and the coil is fed from the the uh, mains timer with a power supply in it so say for instance comes around 10 o'clock click then this operates and then everything goes forward for the next 10 hours and then the mains timer switches off and everything goes back for the next 14 hours so what we've got in here I'm just drawing the contacts so those are the moving contacts so let's put that to that and that to that then this one is wired I'm just going to draw it through there to there and this one is wired to there so moving contacts come this way this is positive goes that way it's negative yeah output is from the moving contacts so let's just go along there and along here like this and there's the other output and there we go so this let's for instance to say that's a common and this one goes to there are, there's a relay in each of the timers but it doesn't go to the coil of the relay it just goes to the contacts in the relay so let's draw a relay and these are normally open contacts which means they're open until energized and that goes to a time uh, to a tracking motor and then we have another one again normally open until energized and that goes off to a tracker so what we had I was going on about yellow cables and black cables we had a yellow thick cable with three wires in it and then we had the back black armored cable with loads of wires but we were only using two of them that's the black cable and we're using two of the wires so what I was saying effectively was normally that on this yellow wire let's say for instance the blue although whatever it doesn't matter the blue was connected to the common and the the brown was connected to there and we had a yellow and green that was spare and then on this black cable the motor the motor wires was one was connected to common which was there and the other one was connected to there so effectively what I did was I used that yellow and green in place of this one here and that common was attached to there so this wire went outside of the shed and the other side the armoured cable was reconnected that way it was neat and tidy tidy and neat hopefully that makes some sense it's another day we'll continue with this video it's a sort of grey scudding cloudsy type day so let's just have a look at the amp meter 25 amps which is one and a quarter kilowatt it's not bad considering you can just about see the sun through the clouds but only just so now let's come back as you can see 
we've got various covers on this trunking now so let's come along and the the light cable that went straight up there which was an orangey red has disappeared and so has the 50 volt connection there and the milk float fuse board and the charging light for the slave battery have moved and next door to them there we have a cable that comes from the main fuse box which is next to the solar isolator and we've also got a wire that goes off to the battery shed lights and another one which is 12 volt which comes from the slave battery which goes off to the charge controller so it's looking somewhat tidier but not perfect yet so just coming up here above the tracker there we have the tracker forward and reversing timer and with its power supply and it, it puts power down a black and a black and white cable and next door to it is a the supply which feeds the coils in all the charge controller relays because they're all 240 volt AC relays that's what I've got and the big contactor for the uh, wind turbine dump load is 240 volt coil so that's where the power supply comes from it made sense at the time probably still makes sense now so it's looking somewhat tidier let's just have a look in the tracker box the charge controller might come on with a big click but we'll just have to put up with that so this is the power from the forward and reversing timer and its power supply. That's nominal 12 volts AC through a rectifier into the relay. Now we've already covered this in the diagram. And these are the Velman timers, Mark 3s. And those are the little relays that I was talking about. Yeah. So... Uh, where else? What else have we got? There's the yellow cable, blue, which is a common to both trackers, and then the green and yellow is one tracker motor, and the brown is another tracker motor. Then these nice Bakelite switches, which uh, means that I can override the timer and just switch the tracker motors on if I want to move them out of the way. And then a little note up here to myself telling me which way to turn the pots, uh, the adjusting uh, pots, if I want to change the pulse all the time. And down here, this is the power supply from the slave battery, the charging of which we've covered in uh, part one. And there's a capacitor across the positive and negative just to make sure we don't get any localised spikes that affect the timers. If you're enjoying this video, please click the like button. Apparently it does some good. And if anybody knows what good it does, can you let me know please?